lot of magic in the word gold. Men who had never done a day's work in their life would break their backs for it, even die for it. A lot of them did. Then when the excitement was all over, you sometimes wondered if it had been worth it. Of course, you couldn't really blame the gold. It just depended on how man handled it. Me? I like enough to spend and not enough to get me into trouble. Because trouble's a thing I try to stay away from. My name's Destry. I like peace and quiet. Providing it's of my own choosing. I spent some time in Texas State Prison, but that's not the kind of peace and quiet I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I've been spending a lot of time looking for the fellow who framed me and got me into that mess. stealing some, which I didn't, but I couldn't make the judge see it my way. Since then, what little gold I've come by, I've still come by honest. But some people don't draw that final line. It reminds me of a girl I met a few years back. She liked gold too. She'd figured out her own ways to go about getting it. Only trouble was, most folks in that town didn't like her ways. Now you just remember what I said, Gurry. If I ever hear of you going back to your old tricks anywhere in this territory, I'll see that you're sent to jail. You don't need to worry, Sheriff. After this cheap town, I've just about decided to go into a new line of work. All right, pull it out. Hey, here. Pardon me, friend. Well, what do you want? Well, I've been in this town a couple of times and thought I knew it pretty well. Mind telling me what a nice-looking girl like that could do so bad that you get herself thrown out? You mean you don't know? Nope. Well, that there woman... Well, she... No. And then she... You don't say. And after that... Is that a fact? And to top it all...
as long as they stay in the higher octaves. I'd like to get in here. If you don't mind, friend. I don't think we got any vacancy. I put the town newspaper in the Gamora. Gamora Sentinel. I made it stink. Destry. No, what's that? Discussing us, sir? Maybe some kind of personal matter. I'll get the names later. This your first visit to Gamora? Yeah. Seems to be tapering off. Why, it's old John Beasley. Looks like you won, John. How you feeling? I'm dying. Oh, come on over here. Oh. It, it's John R. Beasley, ain't it? People always complain I get their names wrong. Is there anything we can do? Well, you can hear my last will and, and testament. Will you write it down, Spink? Well, sure, John, if you want me to. Be quiet, Spink. You want a drink, John? No, Jewel. I'm giving it up. I, John R. Beasley, being of sound and repentant mind, Jewel, will you bring my pack from over there? Fetch it here. Now look inside and unwrap it. Gold dust, a whole jar of gold dust. Sure. Give it here. And uh, there's a spoon in there, Jewel. Give it here. Now you read it as far as you're gone. Being of sound and repentant mind, and ashamed of my sins, and wishing to redeem this town of Gomorrah from its total and terrible wickedness, I hereby will and bequeath this to the most deserving person in town, whoever he or she shall be. Have you got that? Well, sure, John, but uh, the most deserving, I mean to say, uh, who is to tell? What I need now is somebody to handle my will. Oh, like executor. Well, I'm sure I, I could... Uh... No. No, not you. Hey. Me? Huh. You're a stranger here. Yeah, that's right. What's your name? Destry. Destry. And I here and now appoint Destry as my faithful executor to carry... Now, wait a minute. I don't want to get mixed up in anything like that. And how would I choose? Well, I've never seen such a gang of... I mean, I've never seen so many uh, deserving-looking people. You stay in town and choose the most deserving person. I'm sorry, old-timer, but i got other things to do. And at the conclusion of, and in return for his services, Destry may deduct five spoonfuls for his commission from this jar. And here, here's the jar, and here's the spoon. And now, Spink, if you'll give me the pencil and the... Hey, now, wait. Friend, how do I choose? I mean, out of all these people, how do I... You wouldn't believe the change that came over Gomorrah the next morning. People were falling all over themselves to convince me they were the most deserving. Help you across the street, lady? Uh, help you across the street, lady? Get out of here, she's fine. Hey, what do you mean? I seen the old sound first floor. Oh, I mean. Get out of my Lady, we're only talking about it. Morning, ma'am. 
Well, most people. And then I couldn't help thinking that once I'd made my choice, I'd probably wind up with one friend, 900 enemies. Still, it was a dying man's last request. And of course, there was the five spoons full of gold. My traveling money. With everybody in town presenting his best side to me, I figured I needed some good advice. Well, Chris, as you take that gentleman over there selling fish, Chief Iron Eyes. Actually, he's supposed to own this town. Own it? Last of his tribe. They own the whole countryside around here according to presidential treaty. Of course, everybody else lives around here now. He must be rich. No, no, no. Nobody actually ever got around to paint him for the land. Sells trout for a living. Hey, who's that one over there? Oh, that's Ben Igo. Chicken thief. <laughs> Hmm. Speak. I'm forming a committee. Committee? Committee to advise me. I mean, somebody who might not be, you know, personally eligible to win the prize. Careful now, love. Well, now look, I don't know anybody in this town, and you two know everyone. I'll tell you what we do. Besides, you've got that broad experience uh, of human nature. Look, we make lists, put everybody's name down who's eligible, and go through them and discuss them one by one. The next Sunday, we'll have a grand final public award ceremony so as nobody can jump me without witnesses. And you two can sit on the platform with badges on. Well, but don't you think we ought to have at least a three-man committee sort of spread out the risk a little? Don't mm -hmm. be silly, Spink. Who else in town's willing to admit they ain't the most deserving? <laughs> Good to see you. Spink, surely has been a long time, Ed. How about a drink, Jew? I haven't got any cash, but how about a book and trade for it? You learn to read? Well, it was either that or draw pictures on the wall. I started with Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. <laughs> Mr. Bender's been away for quite some time in the country. Oh, at the penitentiary. I had a little experience in that field myself. <laughs> Mr. Destry, Mr. Bender, let's all have a drink. How do? Ah. Where's all your customers? Well, things have been happening since you've been away, Ed. Since you're a reading man now. A deserving person in this town? <laughs> this is what they're all aiming for. But a man who's just got out of prison has that look in his eye when he sees gold. Seemed to me the thing to do was get him on my side as soon as possible. You mean you carry that thing around with you? Not if I can... Say, maybe you'd like to be on my committee. That's right, Ed. You've got the experience to help choose. Now, I already suggested Chief Iron Eyes and Ben Igo. And... Well, name someone better. Sarah Sprague. Sarah Sprague? Well, cross my eyes. Why didn't I think of her? Ed, mighty nice you to tag along all day like this, but... I know you must be sleepy, so now... That's all right. I'm your bodyguard. Bodyguard? Ed, I don't remember reporting you bodyguard. Well, somebody might come tearing through here, grab that, and be off. I mean, I mean, there must be seven, eight thousand dollars worth of gold dust, and could, could I just... Uh, uh, my... uh, uh, uh. Ed, I am sleepy, so now you run along. Or uh, you go in, take 40 winks, and I'll recite to you Hiawatha. By the shores of Kitchigoon. Mr. Destry? <laughs> Ma'am? I'm Sarah Spray. Oh, uh, uh, how do, Miss Sarah? Why, if it isn't Edward Bender. Uh, how, how you been, Miss Sarah? Fine, thank you, Edward. I heard you were being released. I had hoped you wouldn't be coming back here. What? Back to your old habits, old friends, and your old enemies. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Why must people waste themselves? Well, actually, Ed's helped me out. He's on my committee. Committee to choose the most uh, deserving person? Why, Edward, I think that's just wonderful. 
Now, if you take this whole affair and turn it into something rich and positive and rewarding... Well, uh, he's been toying with that notion, too. Good. Well, Everett, if you don't mind, I would like to speak to Mr. Destry alone. Good night, Edward. Oh, uh, you want me to stay in your shirt? I mean, he don't know you. He might get grabby. Of course not, Edward. Well, thank you anyway. Now, you go get your rest. Yes, ma'am. Actually, Mr. Destry, I wanted to speak to you about Willie McGuire. Oh, yeah, well, that's one of the... I wonder... Uh, would you mind... Excuse you, ma'am. Miss Sarah Sprague, school teacher. Now, where'd I see her before? Wherever it was, she wasn't a school teacher, and that's for sure. Miss Sprague. Haven't we met before? Why, well, I certainly don't believe so, Mr. Destry. I'm sure I would have remembered. Huh. Actually, I came here to talk to you about Willie McGuire. He is one of the names on my list. He's one of my students. He's learned all that I can teach him, and he should go to college. Mr. Destry, Willie McGuire should be given that prize. I'm here to plead with you if I have to. Well, that's, that's mighty nice of you, Miss Sarah. I mean, asking for somebody else. Now, most of the people in town, uh, they think you're the most deserving. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Uh, flattering, of course, but ridiculous. I mean, what in the world would I ever use it for? Well, I don't know. Now, some women, why, they might think of new dresses. Mm -hmm. Trips to San Francisco, banquets, nights at the opera, things like that. You don't know me very well, Mr. Destry. That's right, ma'am, I don't. Now, I'd like to continue about Willie McGuire. He has absolutely... I had to admit, she talked pretty sweet. His father is a drug Sweet talking ain't hard to do. I knew a fellow once who said the best way to tell a weasel from a puppy is to hold up a chicken. And he's worked so hard all his life, ever since... My goodness, it does shine, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You were saying about, uh, Willie. Willie? What about Willie? Now, Miss Sarah came to see Destry last night, put in a few words for young Willie McGuire. That's the type of thing she would do, stick out for someone else, never think of herself. Well, this may sound funny to you lads, but that Sarah Sprague, she's always had kind of a devious look in her eyes. I'm a lady, and I can... Lady! Ah, uh, just you... a minute, youngster. You don't... Go oh, that's right, I mean, You I, go I, on, hit him. Hit him! I apologize for him, Jewel. What's going on here? I've been insulted. You still carting that around? I told you to hide it. I've been trying to hide it. We got out of town this morning at dawn, seven miles east, in a canyon, out a canyon, through the woods, across a river. Finally found a place where I thought I could hide it. Looked up and 12 citizens standing there spying on me. Destry. You know what it was in my mind to do? Last night. Yeah, I had a pretty good inkling. Well, but, you know, if Sarah hadn't have come along just then, I'd like an angel to save me from myself. Well, well I was wondering. I, I don't think we better get this meeting started. <laughs> Well, now, Willie McGuire has worked for me since nine years old. I've got nothing against Willie McGuire. I keep saying the only possible winner is Sarah Sprague. And you know it, and you know it. And why we talk about that? Because old John Beasley gave me a job to do thorough. Now, he didn't say give it to the best person in town. He said give it to the most deserving. I've got a little bitty feeling that Miss Sarah Sprague ain't either one. Now, you take Ben Igo. Ben I he's a chicken thief! He's the most horrible man. All right. According to what you all say, a man that bad ought to be at least an axe murderer. But if all he does is steal chickens, well, I think that's quite a deserving accomplishment. But Miss Sarah, if I could just remember. Oh, shut up. That's where he gets his name, Groman. Oh, shut up. 
one of his bad days. You know, Destry, I wouldn't keep waving in that in front of Ed's nose. He gets impulses. I trust him. Ed. Oh. Miss Sarah? Any news from your meeting? Oh, oh, uh, not yet. Uh, things are getting kind of complicated. Destry's got that kind of mind. Say, uh, he didn't take some kind of dislike to you last night. Why do you say that, Ed? I, I just don't understand why it ain't obvious to him how it should go. What? You sure are beautiful, Miss Sarah. <laughs> Get in. Well, well... Come on. Well, uh... And as she walked in with his jar of gold and everything, and we started talking, and the thing he mentioned was Ben Igo. Ben Igo, chicken thief. I didn't know what to say. I finally got up. You know, I put my hat on. Ed, I must tell you something. I know I shouldn't let it bother me, but I... Ma'am? Last night, you remember you offered to stay within earshot? I mean, because you didn't know Mr. Destry's habits? And, and, and you remember that I said, of course not. Do you remember I said that? Because, I mean, I didn't think anybody would... Oh, it's just all so shabby. Please, may I... Uh, well, uh, well, uh, tell me. Ed, you were right. He tried to take advantage of me. Oh, Ed, he made advances to me. I'm going to kill him. Oh, no, no, Ed, I, I never should have told you. Well, that's the reason he... he you wouldn't give in. He wants to get even. He's going to keep that gold away from you, Miss Sarah. Oh, don't call me Miss Sarah, Ed. I want much more than that from you. Oh, well, anything, Miss Sarah. Uh, Sarah. Ed. I want to go away. With you. Did they get the jar? 
Oh, yeah, they got that all right. Oh, oh man, it's that. What about my head? Bag your head. They got the jar. Oh, that part's all right. What do you mean it's all right? You didn't get the real jar. Well, I didn't get the real jar. Yeah. 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 You mean you better yeah. put down yeah. decoys? I figured if I gave people enough to hunt for, they'd leave me alone. Last two nights, I've been planting maybe 30 jars around town. <laughs> <laughs> Sawdust and gilt paint. It won't come off my hands. Where is the real gold? Destry must have got that hit somewhere after all. Boy, he's a smart man. Sarah, let's leave town now. I, I know where I can borrow me a... A wagon someplace. Sarah, I need to kill the man. I robbed him. Well, I thought I was doing the right thing, doing it for you. But, well, it's turned into sawdust. And, and I say that's our good luck. Because it gives me a chance to keep straight. And I can do it. With you. Sarah, you're all I need, but, but away from here. No. Now, Tom, what'd you have to go and kill him for? You heard him. He said he was more deserving of winning that gold than I was. Ain't that what Yates said yesterday when you killed him? You dang tootin' it was. Now, is anybody else here who thinks they're more deserving of that gold than I am? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, gone it. This thing's getting plumb out of hand. You know, we're only kidding ourselves. Uh, granted, we're all pretty nice fellows. Well, but none of us can really say we're the most deserving people in town. Tom, 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 just because you're faster with a gun doesn't make you the most deserving. Well, maybe you're right. And we all know who really is. That sweet, pretty little school mom of ours. Hey, that's right. I don't know. She slapped me last month when I tried to kiss her. <laughs> oh, boxed my ears a couple of times, too, just because I wanted to see what it was like to put my arms around a real lady. The point I'm making is, say we were to all get behind her, make sure she gets the gold. I reckon uh, she'd be grateful, huh? Maybe she'd stop slapping people. I think you boys got a point there. I'm going to withdraw in favor of Miss Sarah Spray. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Me and Billy here will go and find Destry and tell her what it's all about. Yeah. This would be a great thing for the town. Get that church repaired and back in business again. Our diocese heard about Mr. Destry's fine work here. It seemed our opportunity to make another try in Gamora. Reverend, I figure I can keep them virtuous till Sunday. After that, you're on your own. <laughs> Listen to him. Say, Reverend. How far are you figure to be painted by then? Just the first floor, I'm afraid. We've got several weeks of work here. Hmm. Destry. Yeah, boys? We come to tell you this uh, contest, Destry. Now, you've been keeping everyone in suspense, ill feeling. Well, mighty sorry to hear that, boys. Oh, it ain't nice to argue over a prize. No, it ain't nice. So us and the boys figure you better give in to Miss Sarah Spray, or we'll all string you up to gargle. Now, how about that? How about that? Well, now, something like that I find very persuasive, Dusty. And after all, Miss Sarah should be a mighty popular candidate. Well, Safer, too. I just ain't made up my mind yet, that's all. Well, now, suppose we have a little impromptu meeting of the committee right here now. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the hotel and meditate. Meditate good, yeah? Real good. Hello, Mr. Dusty. Hey, Miss Sarah. I was just hanging around to see if you had had any news. Have you decided anything yet? Ma'am? I was interested for Willie McGuire's sake. Oh. Well, I get a lot of advice, but kind of a slow thinker. Oh, I don't think you're a slow thinker, Mr. Destry. 
I think you're real good at it. It's an awful effort. A good thing always takes some effort. I'd like to win that prize. Yes, sir. Well, you've a lot to recommend you. Half the gold, Mr. Destry. Half for me. And half for the man that appreciates me. Well, it wouldn't be a matter of not appreciating. You do understand me, don't you, Destry? You know, I think I just remembered where it was I saw you. Oh? Town of Badwater? About four or five years ago? I never even heard of Badwater. They've heard of you. You can't prove a thing. Don't need to. Assuming what you say is true, don't you think it's possible for a girl to reform? Oh, anything's possible. But a school teacher... <laughs> it's about the last place in the world I'd expect to find you. Well, you might say that I found I could make just as much money now as I did then. That it's a whole lot safer. I haven't been thrown out of town. Anyway, I have reformed. Can't you tell what the whole town thinks of me? Well, I'd feel a lot better about it if you were still trying to get that gold for Willie McGuire. <laughs> Willie McGuire can't be nearly as grateful as I can be. Mm -hmm. All I want out of this deal is my five spoons full. I mean to have that gold, Destry. You're not going to be able to stop me. Good day, Miss Sarah. in committee today. Put him on! Hey, you are, Ed. Now turn around. Well, now, Ed, if you want to talk about something, well, why don't we do this just peaceful life? Well, now, Ed, really, if you got something in mind, I mean, maybe we can, you know, sit down and discuss it, Ed, just like... something in them against this kind of activity? For instance, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm? Ask him where it is. Destry! Ed, I'm not sure I want you on my committee after this. Well, I... I don't, I don't think I can do this. He's got no more chance than a kitten. Ask him where it is. Destry, have some sense. I can leave you hanging there. Somebody come along, pull you up later. Or I can drop you down, Destry, all the way. Well, Ed, why don't you look behind the hotel? An old whiskey barrel and a grove of trees. Might find something there. Oh. Ed, look in the lamp in my hotel room. The base of its hollow. That's where it is. He says it's in his room. Let's go see. What if he's lying? Well, I don't care. I told you I'm not good for this anymore. No, 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 Ed. Look. Let him down some more. Then see if he gives the same answer. He changed it once before. You drowned him, wouldn't you? Well, isn't there any limit anymore? Let him down, Ed. <laughs> oh, sure do appreciate this much better, Ed. What are you doing? I'm holding them back up. Get away. Hey! 
decision on Sunday, boys. Fine big award ceremony in the square. Everybody happy and friendly like a picnic. And all the final contestants Help. up in the... Wait a minute. What's that? Help! Somebody Help. singing hymns oh. again. I no, wish those... No, somebody in trouble. Help up there! Hello, help us! Somebody help! Help us up there! Destry, that you? I've come to you, fellow industry. Come on, Stink, get on the winch. Uh. Be careful, he's not a dad. Easy now. Okay, what? What can he have? Easy with it, boys. He's not a dad. All right. See if you can find a key in there, will you? I know what happened. The handle slipped, spun out of his hand, and knocked him in. That uh, figures what had happened. Hey, Ed, somebody push you in there on top of me? I heard you talking to somebody. Didn't need to uh, be anybody. Handle hit him. I explained that part. Uh, How about that, Ed? Somebody figure you weren't useful anymore? Why are you taking me to jail, aren't you? Did you get this? Destry, you all right? Oh. I ain't sure. Sure about one thing, though. Finish with my meditating. Sarah Sprague, or this crowd's just liable to hang out of the door of Frazier. Folks, 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 on behalf of the Beasley Grand Prize Committee, great pleasure to welcome you all here this fine Sunday morning. <laughs> Proud to present a young man in a few short days, known and beloved by us all. Now, let's hear what we all think of him. Mr. Destry! Well, <clears throat> I want to thank you for that warm reception. Well, folks, when old John Beasley named me to choose out the most deserving person in Gomorrah, I knew you'd want me to do a good and thorough, fair and square job, without fear or favor and without prejudice. Well, ever since then, I've been meeting almost constantly with my advisory committee. Also, in my spare time, I've been threatened, chased up and down alleyways and dark streets, clotted on the head, dropped down a well. Well, I mean, it's about gotten to the point where I think maybe the most deserving person in Gomorrah is me. Oh, all right, boys, let's do it, do it now. Just a little joke, folks, just a little joke. I want to keep everybody cheerful. Well, obviously, you're all anxious to have this over so you can get to church. Just want to give you the arrangements for the prize given first. Before I do that, though, I'd like to call up our list of finalists. Would they please come forward? Chief Iron Eyes. Chief? Willie McGuire. Mr. Ben Igo. Uh, <laughs> and Miss Sarah Spray. Yeah!
Reverend Case here will take over the proceedings. Uh, the Reverend will preside also while I deduct my few tiny spoonfuls of dust from that jar of gold. Uh, where is that jar of gold dust, Destry? Yeah. Still got it hid, friends. Still got it hid. Just a little precaution. Now, when the time comes, the Reverend and I will go fetch it. Then the Reverend will present it to the winner. After which he will lead you all into your fine, freshly painted church for a rousing hymn and prayer service. Why don't you give her the prize now, Destry? Yeah! Come on, let's have it, Come on, Destry, you're stolen. Come on. Ready? Reverend, will you step forward, please? Folks, now it gives me great pleasure. After long deliberation, your committee chose as the most deserving person in Gamora, your winner, Young Willie McGuire. Committee decision, boys. Just stay loose. Willie McGuire. What's that on your hand, boy? What? Pink. Boy, you've been running around town digging up the make-believe gold dust jars. No, sir. You got gilt paint all over you. No, sir. I never. I mean, sure, I guess I got paint on my hand, all right. Paint from where, son? Oh, yesterday. Last evening, I went to visit Miss Sarah. She asked me to paint a picture frame for her. Well, ask her. Ask Miss Sarah. Willie. Why, no, Willie. You know that's not so. Sarah, you know it is. Picture frame. Picture George Washington. She gave me a bottle of gilt paint and asked George me to... George Washington reminds us to always tell the truth. I'm so sorry. I... I didn't even see him yesterday. You did? Miss Sarah, you asked me to paint... Sarah... Telling the truth. Yes, sir. You might as well give it to her. They'll murder you. You got no choice. Well, folks, since uh, Willie McGuire declines the honor, I guess we got no choice but to go to our second place winner. So, without any more, sir... Hey, where you going? No. No prize. How come, Chief? If I take it, these bums just get it away again. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, looks like we're going to have to go down to the third name on our list. So, without any more... Ado, <laughs> The nicest girl in Gamora! You missed your chance for a kiss before, Destry. You should have taken it. You'd be rich now. Nice job you did on Willie, Miss Sarah. Can you prove it? And Ed Bender. Poor Ed. Well, anyway, he has his dreams. That's almost as good. Now, fetch me my gold dust, Destro. Well, folks, I reckon that's about all. All I can say was it's a great strain, and I'm going to go get me a drink. <laughs> Town. That was the one 
place nobody's going to poke around. killed you. Well, if it's any comfort to you, you came pretty close. Well, where is everybody? Hiding. Yeah, they got a good look at the real Miss Sarah Sprague. It scared them. Well, I'd had enough of this town anyway. The only reason I came was to make some kind of big killing. It's a waste of time being the sweet little school teacher. Now, all that nice gold gone. Oh, Miss Sarah. Like they say, money's the root of all evil. Figure if I'm ever going to find the man I'm looking for, I better get moving. How are you coming along, Ed? Oh, fair as I can. Judge found out I could read, put me on probation, made me school teacher. Well, I'm not much of a hand at it, but as you once said, I've kind of taken a fancy to the job. You hear any word about Sarah? Somebody said they saw her over at Split Ridge. Said something about her tying up with a medicine show. If I run into her, you want me to say you sent your best? No, I guess it wouldn't do much good. Well, take care, Destry. Good luck, Ed. Well, John, it was a good idea, but I'm afraid it didn't turn out. No? Uh -huh. Gold doesn't necessarily bring out the best in folks. Well, let's see. We lost Sarah Sprague. Gained Ed Bender. So I guess we turned out about even. John, if you uh, find any gold down there, you hold on to it, will you? I don't think Gamora's ready for any more civic virtue. Thanks for the spoon, John. It'll come in handy someday, if I can ever afford some beans. Oh, 
scripture to find its way. Yes, dream.